Okay, I just kind of did this for uh, some people who might be having difficulties on the last physics homework question. Uh, so the question is, Sunny's training for a five kilometer run. Uh, she starts training by moving at a constant pace of 4.3 meters per second for 19 minutes. She accelerates at a constant rate until she crosses the finish line. 19.4 seconds later, what is her acceleration during the last portion of the run? I'm doing this because uh, the way I explained it to some people earlier, it's uh, I made it really confusing. On the way home, I kind of figure out an easier way to, to work out the problem. So first step. So all I've done is just kind of drew a bit of a diagram for a graph, for visuals. I wrote down the two formulas that I figured out I can use. And then up here, I just stated what I know and what I'm looking for. So my total distance, DT, is five kilometers. My initial velocity, VI, is 4.3 meters per second. My first time interval is 19 minutes. And my second time interval is 19.4 seconds. So to make this easier and so it can work out, I just can convert everything to proper SI units. So five kilometers, uh, that's 5,000 meters. VI is already in SI units. 19 minutes is not. So to switch it over, I will multiply by 60. So because there's 60 seconds to a minute, this gets rid of minutes and leaves me with, I believe it's 1140. My phone's being used, hold on. So we will go 19 by 60 is 1140. So that's 1,400 seconds. Now, the way I do it is I don't worry about sig, there's only three sig figs. I know there's two to start with. I worry about all that stuff at the end. Uh, if you start rounding mid, midway through, then you kind of, you, you tend to maybe screw up. The second time interval is 19.4 seconds. So we're trying to find acceleration of that 19.4 second period. So right here, I've got a graph. So I've got velocity versus time. So uh, we'll put this, graph's obviously not scale. 440 seconds. And then plus 19.4. So this would be 159.4 seconds. But this little blip right here is the difference of 19.4 seconds. Okay. So this is the end of the race. I'm terrible at drawing straight lines. So right about here, it's where she started to accelerate at some at and she finished at some velocity velocity we don't know so this right here represent is 4.3 meters per second so she's moving along at she started at a constant velocity she's going at 4.3 meters per second consistent for 19 minutes which is 1140 seconds so to get the distance for this part we need to know the distance that she covered which is just the area of this rectangle right there so I'll call that uh, D1 
which means this here is going to be the area of this trapezoid is going to be D2. Oh, sorry, I wrote D2 there. Okay, so now I'm going to go. So I want to I want to know that area. So I know that our average velocity is is uh, 4.3. So if I use the for, this formula right here, d equals half bt over bft. Um, there's only one. There's only one. This can be simplified to d equals bt. Uh, so I will go. D is equal to velocity times time. So this is going to be d1. D1 is then equal to 4.3 times 1140 is 4902 meters. So this is just as a little kind of, I don't like to put my units in with the equation. I find it can mess you up with variables and stuff and sometimes just too much to write so if you wanted but i'm just going to write in what the units of each part were was well, going to do seconds over one but it's just seconds we, we know that this is a numerator. So the numerator and the denominator cancel out and that leaves us with meters. Okay. So this is that area that she covered in that 19 minute span. We're not too concerned about that. The question is just stating about this part right here. They want to know this, the acceleration, the slope of that line. So we, as you can see here, we can, uh, we, to find the area, or not the area, the acceleration, we need to know the final velocity, which we don't know there. Uh, so that's this point right here. We don't know that, but we know VI started at right there, which is 4.3. So the way I did it is the reason I did this is because it's going to help me know what D2 is so I can sub that info back into this equation to figure out what VF is and then figure this one out. So I want to know what D2 is. I know that the total distance is equal to D1 plus D2. And I know the total distance has to equal 5,000. D1, we just figured it out, is 4,902. So if I just move it to the other side, 5,000 subtract 4,902, leaves with, with 98 meters. This is D2. From there, because we're only concerned with that interval, I can figure out what the final velocity of that little segment of the graph is with this equation. Cause I know that she trapped in that time span. We know time is 19.4 seconds and we know the distance that she traveled within that time as well as her starting velocity. So it's just going to be D I'm just going to rewrite it again. D2 has to be equal to one half of VI plus VF times time. So I'm just going to, we'll uh, do some manipulation here.
So we'll multiply by 2. That's 2D. And I'm going to divide by time. So if I multiply by 2 and divide by time, 1 half of VI plus VF T. The T's will cancel out. 2 and the half will cancel out. This is equal to VI plus VF over 2DT. 2DT, 2D over T is equal to VI plus VF. I'm just going to switch over to the other side here. So next, what I'll do is, so 2D over T, I'm just going to move the initial velocity over here, minus VI is equal to VF. So that's going to give me the final velocity. So if I plug in some numbers here, that's going to be 2 times 98 over 19.4 minus the initial velocity, which is 4.3. It's going to give me V final. Uh, I'm just going to rewrite this as VF is equal to, now if I punch this in the calculator, so 2 times 98 is 196 divided by 19.4, that's 10.10, .10. so I'll just do this, so minus 4.3 is 5.8 meters per second. So with this, now I know the final velocity as well as the initial velocity and the time. So with that, acceleration is equal to Vf minus Vi over T. This is going to be 5.8 minus 4.3 over you put those in brackets, you do that first. 19.4. So, 1.5 over 19.4 gets you. 0.077 meters per second squared. That's just the acceleration of that area. The first initial way I did it was uh, a bit more convoluted. Thought of this on the way home and hopefully this kind of helps uh, people who were having troubles with this.